تحتفل الجاليات الإسلامية في إيطاليا بشهر رمضان كما تقوم بعض المراكز والجمعيات الإسلامية بدعوة علماء وشيوخ من مختلف البلدان العربية كما أصبح معظم الإيطاليين على علم بقدوم شهر رمضان Well, the site of the moon is a great occasion to link tradition and modernity, if I may say. So we have a cooperation with the scientists uh, who provide us some guidelines, technical guidelines, on when, according to their calculations, the moon might be there, uh, and where, and how is the cloud, and how is the weather. Uh, and on the other side, we provide some uh, good-sighted uh, uh, members of our community that are responsible to uh, fulfill the traditional uh, responsibility to look to the moon and to respond to the co expectations of the community. So again, I think it's uh, an occasion uh, to link reason and science, uh, religion, uh, faith, and uh, modernity. Uh, and trying to not put them in conflict or in competition, but to cooperate uh, in order to have something that is uh, Islam according to its eternity, but in principles, but also in practical terms in the Western uh, uh, and also Eastern civilization. Uh, during Ramadan, we, of course, uh, in Europe and in Italy, we have a huge uh, migration uh, coming from uh, North Africa. And uh, so our organization, Koreis, uh, has uh, made a program which we call 114 Pizza and Sweets during Ramadan. 114, of course, are the chapters of the Quran. And Pizza and Sweets is what we try to offer to Muslim migrants who are newly newcomers in, in Italy. Uh, in order to help them understand the possibility to live Islam uh, with sensitivity, breaking their fast, but also be part of uh, uh, Western European Italian uh, communities. Uh, and, uh, and so this also is an example of uh, linking with Christian communities, because we invited also some uh, Christian colleagues uh, so it's uh, on two levels. It's a social welcoming and gathering according to the tradition of Islam of breaking fast, praying and reciting the Quran with pizza. <laughs> uh, of course, dates and pizza, uh, but also with sweets, uh, which helps uh, the trouble of the migration process, but also helping the Christians in Italy understand also the symbolism, the universality of fasting, praying, and uh, um, worshipping God Almighty in different ways through the respect of rituals, but also understanding the similarities and our common uh, fraternity. Uh, yes, I was younger uh, and I was uh, very blessed, if I may say, because the atmosphere is completely different uh, and uh, we can see and hear the presence of the Quran in the evenings, uh, which is wonderful, but also the population. Uh, the population gathering for meals, uh, being happy, uh, uh, stores open with sweets uh, uh, all over. I think you really feel the taste of the blessing of Ramadan in the evenings, but also in, in, the, in the days. Although in the days I see less uh, crowd and less traffic uh, than in other months of Ramadan. Well. Uh, being a European visiting Egypt and having the privilege to be quite often the guest uh, of uh, the Wizarat al Waqaf uh, uh, and of the Mufti, of course, I, I had the privilege to meet when I was younger and learn from uh, Mufti Ali Gumwa. Uh, and I think uh, you have to be proud of the value of knowledge of true, authentic, Islamic uh, tradition, living tradition. It's not only a heritage, it's not only in architecture, it's also in art, it's also in symbolism, but it's also in the, really the, the great added value of spirituality and of uh, meeting of cultures uh, with the great uh, value.
Well, my message is uh, let us increase relations between East and West so that uh, Muslims in Europe and in Italy can follow the great example of your heritage and your wisdom and the presence of masters and saints in your country. Mm -hmm.